This is the HP Omen 17 2021 with a RTX 3070 140 watt Intel i7 11800H has a 165 QHD 300 nit IPS display, which is beautiful. It's a lot brighter than I expected. I have a confession to make. I'm in love. And it's not with a human being. I'm never getting married. I'm never having kids. I'm in love with a piece of plastic and some RGB. It is, it's beautiful. And th I've been living with this thing for two weeks. It has exceeded every expectation I had for it. And it's just blown me away. This thing is an absolute beast. This is the base RAM that comes in the laptop. I swapped mine out for 32 gig because I do virtual machines and you need the extra RAM for that. This is a eight gig and eight gig stick. You will notice that it has eight silicon chips on each stick of RAM, which is great because what a lot of manufacturers are doing to cut down on costs is only putting four silicon chips on each piece of RAM. And that can massively affect your performance by 10 to 20%. Props to HP for not screwing people over. I didn't know about a fucking jet. Just to clarify, what you heard was max fans. Now, this is the single core test, and this is the multi core test for Cinebench R23. And as you can see, it did pretty well. We did a round of Haven at Ultra settings, and we did Time Spot, which is 3D Mark. As for how the Omen 17 does in games, I'll let Doom Eternal on high settings with ray tracing and DLSS do my talking for me. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man. For his army, they fear the mark of the beast. It runs very comfortably in high with ray tracing on. You can push it to ultra. Um, things start heating up a little bit then. But if you turn off the ray tracing, then you're all good to continue running in QHD. If you want to keep the ray tracing, then you have to go down to 1080p. But overall, I have to say I'm super happy with this. I will put a link to the Amazon page where I bought this. It was a thousand seven hundred fifty dollars at the time of my purchase i will also put a link to the spec sheet for this particular configuration from hp it has all of the necessary details to know before buying 